Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today I am bringing you news of an exceptionally exciting new energy card that is coming in Crimson Invasion. It is Counter Energy. Now, we were told that we would be getting a new energy card in this set, and oh my goodness, it is an absolute doozy what this says is that if you have more prize cards left than your opponent and it is attached to a non-ex non-gx pokemon it is basically two rainbow energy but none of that damage counter malarkey although actual double rainbow energy meant that you reduced your damage output by 10 so it's not exactly the same ladies and gentlemen so is it any good i mean clearly Clearly, the answer here is yes. Now, it's not quite as overpowered as, say, something like Scramble Energy. Scramble Energy could only be put on Evolved Pokemon, but if you were behind on prizes, it gave you free of any energy, which is, frankly, utterly, utterly utterly ludicrous and some people have said this is like upper energy from rising rivals but it's not because upper energy only gave you colorless energy this gives you any of them whatsoever now it can only be attached to a non ex non gx more on that later and because i've seen this question from a lot of people already unfortunately i was at work today and had to wait a little while to do this video yes they can be different energies so for instance you could have attach this to a Dragonite from Sun and Moon, and as long as you are behind on prizes, this would cover both the Grass and the Lightning Energy, i.e. both the energies that this counts as are any energy you like them to be. You could, for instance, count it as a Fairy Energy to Free Retreat with Fairy Garden, and then count it as a Lightning Energy to Attack, and also then the next turn count it as a metal energy to give it protection with Magirna. I.e. it's only one energy at a time, but it can at any moment be whatever energy you want it to be. Exactly like rainbow energy. Now, of course, being a special energy means it is vulnerable to anything that gets rid of special energy. Drampa GX is seeing an awful lot of play at the moment. That will discard this quite handily. Enhanced Hammer has always seen a bit of play, continues to do so. That'll get rid of it. Promo Jurachi has fallen out of favor, but that can discard it while giving immunity. And, of course, I did a video on this recently, a very popular video. Kartana GX has the ability of Enhanced Hammer. So you can grab Kartana, pop it down, and it will count as an Enhanced Hammer. So, as with all special energies, it is a little bit vulnerable to special energy hate. And there are, of course, a bunch of decks in which this will not be useful at all. Take a deck like Volcanion. Well, your main attackers here are going to be Volcanion, EX, and Turtonator GX. They can't use it. Plus, it's a special energy, which means it cannot be attached using Power Heater or Max Elixir. Similarly, take a deck like Gardevoir, although it can count for Gallade, it can't be used for Gardevoir GX, who's clearly your main attacker. So in Gardevoir, you'd be much better off just playing double colorless energy. Similarly, Speed Darkrai, first of all, needs to get a whole bunch of energy on the field for Darkrai. Secondly, it needs to be basic so it can be either gotten with Max Elixir or recovered with Darkrai GX. Although, as a side note, this actually could be kind of funky for a Speed Darkrai deck. Because as long as you had a non-GX on your field, you could attach this and it would count as two energy. The problem is, as soon as you then become even or ahead on prizes, it doesn't even count as one dark energy. It's just a colorless energy. Unless you're behind on prizes, this just counts as a colorless energy. It can still be attached to a Pokemon when you're not behind on prizes, but it only counts as a colorless energy. Similarly, it seems from the wording we've got at the moment, although as always we'll have to wait for the official translation, that you can attach this to an EX or a GX Pokemon, but it just provides one colorless energy, and it's vulnerable to all the special energy hate, like Drampa and Enhanced Hammer. 
So why would you want to, ladies and gentlemen? Personally, I wouldn't. And I've kind of alluded to this so far, but let's make it really explicit. Any deck that really wants to take advantage of Max Elixir, Wishful Baton, or anything like Evil Tal or Volcanion that attaches energy from the discard pile, you just don't want to be using this because it doesn't fulfill any of those roles. So, if they're the decks it's not good on, what about the decks it is? I mean, Persimian springs to mind here. Now, Persimian seems like a teensy bit of a waste because, of course... Persimian uses colourless energy, but in Persimian you really want to be able to have more than four double colourless energy. Well here you can. Now you can only use it when you're behind on prizes, but it's still one colourless energy when you're even or ahead. But when you're not, all of a sudden you've got that other double colourless energy. It means you're more likely to draw into that energy when you want it. Now maybe using Energy Lotto to search and... Special charge to recover is good enough. If so, fine. But this gives you another option, ladies and gentlemen. And as a fun side note, it can also pay the energy cost for Fling, allowing you to do 30 to a bench Pokemon if something has retreated just out of range of being KO'd, whereas double colorless energy will not allow you to do so. One of the uses I really, really love for this card, however, is Regigigas. I think it's amazing in Regigigas. Now, I've done videos about Regigigas, Regice, Regirock, Registeel. They're all there. I, I did Regirock yesterday, and the links to all of the others are in that video. But all of these attack for different energy. And what I said in my Regirock video yesterday was, the best attacker here is Registeel. But you still want to use Regirock occasionally if you're against a Drampa or a Darkrai. So what you do is you play one or two Regirock. After all, Regirock allows Registeel to do 10 more damage. And then if you need to use it, in comes Counter Energy. So now you don't have to play any of that stupid Fighting Energy. And of course, Counter Energy will work just as well for Registeel as it does for Regirock. How about we move into the expanded format and have a quick look at Trevenant? Because of course Trevenant here, especially Trevenant Break, if you are behind on prizes, this will cover you ladies and gentlemen. This will give you both of the energy you need to use Silent Fear. Now you don't even need a Dimension Valley in play and you're using Silent Fear for a single energy. And what's amazing about this is that Silent Fear drops three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Well, that means you can go down a prize, be using Silent Fear for a single energy... And actually, you're not going to be taking prizes quickly. So you might take no prizes, no prizes, no prizes, no prizes, five prizes with one Silent Fear attack when you've softened them all up enough. It's wonderful. Now, a lot of the Pokemon, the non-EX, non-GX at the moment that we're using actually use double colorless, so don't need this. Think about Garboda, for instance. Acid Spray is a pretty good attack. But it's a Psychic and a double colorless. The non-GX Golisopod is kind of fun, but it's a Grass and a double colorless. The non-GX Alola Ninetales has a wonderful ability giving it immunity from EXs and GXs, but it's a Water and a double colorless. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, that in the future, cards will be released to take advantage of this. And this will continue to open up new options from now until the day it is rotated. There might be entire tournaments where this doesn't see much play. And then there will be entire formats where it sees a huge amount of play. I think this is an amazing card. We are very heavily GX focused right now. Look at all of the top decks at the moment. Gardevoir, Glycopod, Speed Darkrai, Alola Ninetales, Turtonator. I could keep going, but you get the point. We're a very EXGX heavy format at the moment, but it's not going to remain that forever, and this may well be one of the key things that changes it. And when I put in the title that this will change the game, I mean that very sincerely. I don't mean this as a clickbait title. It's not a fake title to entice you in under false pretenses.
This will change the game. Maybe not immediately. Looking at the format at the moment, I don't see that many decks that will take advantage of it. But believe me, ladies and gentlemen, sooner or later, there will be decks which are infinitely better with this and become top tier decks because of this. And I don't just mean one or two. I mean, heck, if you want a really silly example, a lot of decks are going to be using Octillery moving forward. And a lot of non-GX decks are going to end up using this. And honestly, pretty much every good non-EX, non-GX deck moving forward will use this energy. You're going to be able to use Octillery's Hug. Because you put one basic energy on Octillery, then a counter energy. And if you're behind on prizes, you can actually attack with Hug, with Octillery. Which I'm not convinced anyone has ever done. It's pretty cool. Although one thing I do need to mention about this card, there's been long rumours, although I fear it's more wishful thinking than rumours, that we're getting some kind of ultra energy which will help out all of the ultra beasts. Not in Crimson Invasion. We've been told since it was revealed that this set will include a new special energy card, this is that new special energy card. That's not to say we're not going to get some kind of ultra beast focused special energy in the future. But it is to say that we shan't be getting it in this set. I am going to go ahead and give Counter Energy 5 Wassies. I don't expect it to see huge play right at the beginning when it comes out. Because honestly at the moment I don't see that many decks that can take huge advantage of it. But I do expect it to see regular play from the beginning. And I fully expect down the line as soon as we get some really good non-EX, non-GX Pokemon revealed. This will be played in all of these decks because rainbow energy is good having two at the same time without taking the damage counter seriously how is that not a five wassy card so powerful you've got to take it away from the x's and gx's because if you allowed this with stuff like gardevoir and turtonator it would be ridiculous but i want to know what you think about counter energy can you think of any good decks where it's going to be amazing do you think i'm overhyping it personally i don't but i wouldn't i'm biased Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and come and grab some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the pod, get some bonus pods, etc. And you need to be quick, because bonus pod number four is going up tomorrow, and bonus pod number two will be lost forever. Then come on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio